Reigning Olympic 110 meter hurdles champion Anza Parchment was presented with the key to the township of Morant Bay and it has now been confirmed that national sprinter Brianna Williams has now decided to join Michael Freita at his new track club in Kingston. Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to another video from TSC Exclusive, your home for the latest news and events in track and field. Now, back to the video. Parchment, who is a native of St. Thomas and a past student of the Morant Bay High School, was presented with the key during a special ceremony which was held at Colonel's Cove in the parish. Parchment, who won the silver medal at the Royal Athletics Championship in Budapest in August, says he is grateful for the recognition. It is an exciting feeling because it is an overwhelming kind of support that I have been getting from my hometown and I think that anybody would be excited about that, Parchment said. To be honest, I am surprised with all the excitement because I didn't expect it to be this big but everybody came out in their numbers. The Morant Bay High School has been the foundation for everything that I have accomplished so far and I am very grateful for the love and support that they have been showing me. Parchment says this award will serve as added motivation for him to work harder to defend his Olympic title next year in Paris. I have the Olympic next year and I want to put my best foot forward and of course make the whole Jamaica proud, Parchment said. Moving on to the next topic, it is understood that Brianna Williams who recently left Titans International Track Club began training with Freitas Club last week. A source close to Freitas says that he is yet to decide on the name of his new club as they are still working on the various aspects and logistics of the setup. Williams will join Akeem Blake and former Royal 100m champion Johan Blake who also recently departed Titans Track Club. When contacted, however, Freta said that he will not be commenting on the matter. Renowned track and field analyst Donald Smith said he supports Williams' decision to remain in Jamaica and train and it is now up to her to work even harder to achieve her goals for next season. Brianna Williams is currently in her second year training locally. She has shown some amount of improvement towards the end of the season and that is why she was able to make the Jamaica national team to the world championship in Budapest. Hope she will continue to improve come next season.